I'm Dr. Ramin Amtalla, cardiovascular imaging specialist. Uh, I work on cardiac CT, cardiac MRI for the past 12 years in Dubai. Uh, this was my third uh, experience with uh, Revolution CT. And like the previous two times, I was quite impressed with the technical capabilities of this system. In fact, cardiac imaging is quite uh, time-consuming and quite challenging technically because we're trying to image small coronary arteries moving constantly with the breathing, moving constantly with the heartbeats, okay, and uh, within, breath, within one breath hold. And we used to uh, spend a lot of time in patient preparation, patient selections on the older systems. The advantage of this system is that it can, with a better spatial resolution and a much faster acquisition time in less than a second, in one heartbeat, it can image the whole heart and give us uh, quite excellent motionless uh, images from the coronary arteries in order to get uh, good, uh, technic good technical results and good diagnostic accuracy in our studies. As a clinician, what I'm interested in is the two things when I'm doing a procedure or a test for my patient. The first would be safety. Of course, when I'm doing this procedure, I want to make sure that this procedure is as safe as possible to my patient. And this CT, in fact, uh, one of the primary um, characteristics is the safety. First, it's a very low radiation system. We do most of these cardiac studies for one or two millisievert, not the uh, exceptional volunteer case, but most of our routine cases on a daily basis are done with this very low level of radiation while conserving a good, very good imaging quality. The second aspect of safety would be contrast use. Because of the fast acquisition time and doing the whole scanning in less than a second, we don't need to use the amount of contrast we used to uh, have in older systems. So for less than a half of this amount today, we can get a clear image um, and a very diagnostic study. So not only a selected patient can have the CT, but even the high risk patient, the, the patient that have maybe long standing diabetes, the patients that have uh, even uh, moderately affected kidney function, we can now introduce this technique to them and do it safely without uh, causing any harm to them. And the third point, because of the technical um, the capabilities of the older systems, very frequently we used to have uh, a study that we needed to repeat. Maybe uh, 2 to 5 percent of the patient would require a CT scan to be repeated because of artifacts or because of non-diagnostic images. And this almost does not happen with this CT because of all the technical, the high resolution, the high temporal resolution and the quick acquisition time. So almost never is repeated for this patient and this is definitely an important uh, safety factor I would consider when I'm doing this. On the other aspect, not only safety is important, but also what the, what's the clini clinical benefit that I'm getting from a CT. As you all know, cardiology patients, and especially ischemic heart disease and coronary artery disease, are very important to patients because they could have a heart attack anytime, and a very accurate diagnosis is very important. And as we know in CT, the more you have artifacts, the less is diagnostic accuracy. So this system, by its technical capabilities, it's practically, um, we don't have any uh, of these artifacts. So the images are crisp clear, we don't have, uh, and we have a very easy uh, evaluation post-processing, reduced post-processing time, and a very accurate diagnosis. In fact, it's not only for the advanced centers, and I would say it's ideal for both advanced users and ideal for startup hospitals and centers. And why I would do that, I would say that, in fact, because most of these startup centers, they don't have the experience. So they, they need a system that's easy to manipulate, easy to, um, uh, the patient needs to be easily prepared. And this system, by giving this, uh, these options to the doctors, to the radiographers and to the hospitals, it allows a, a team that has very limited experience to produce very nice images, very diagnostic images. And by doing that, it reduces also the, the, the time of post-processing of the doctors. So the case, instead of taking 15-20 minutes of post-processing, can be done in maybe 5 minutes or 10 minutes or less, and then uh, giving the best, uh, the best uh, diagnostic accuracy. So 
not only uh, this level uh, of confidence that is very important to these centers, it's important on multiple levels. To get those accurate results is very important to build the trust with the referring doctors and to have a good clinical um, activity from the beginning and not only for experienced users. Now, on the other hand, of course, experienced users will, will love the system because uh, it allows them not only to do the challenging cases that we couldn't do on previous systems, the cases of very obese patients, the patients where we had a very fast heart rate and we couldn't control. So it allows us to expand our indications to scan the patients that we couldn't scan before. But in addition to that, it would allow us to push the frontiers of research. By its technical capabilities, we can try new indications, we can try new protocols, and even uh, we can apply it to new patient population in order to expand the uh, clinical applications of CT. So to conclude, I would just say I was again very impressed with this system. I'm sure that the uh, technical capabilities of this system will drive CT uh, and especially cardiac CT towards a brighter future.